All right, this week's Iron MPI is brought to you by Borns. That's the product we're doing. And DigiKey, of course, because that's where we're going to show you where to get this. Lady Ada, what is the new product of the week this week? Okay, so this Iron week's MPI. Iron MPI is from Borns, and they have an awesome logo, as you can see. Just love that little, like, twist on the R. It's like bangs. Um, we actually uh, featured Borns like a month, a month and a half ago for their uh, dual concentric uh, rotary encoder. Um, so, but it's, you know, sometimes you get lucky, you come up like a month or two later. Um, so this week we're showing off, oh, the Borns, hold on, let me get the exact part number. Well, this is the MF-LSM F200 uh, slash 24X SMD PP PPTC fuse. Uh, basically it's um, these really high powered uh, polymetric uh, PTCs, which are positive temperature coefficient fuses. Um, I love this rendering. Um, they do even kind of look like that. There's kind of cool gold and black color. And they're basically high voltage, high current fuses uh, that are resettable so you can use them in your design. Um, even if you're using a lot of current, like for big LED or motor, motor type projects, uh, there's ones um, in this fuse series, I think that go above uh, 35 volts and six amps. So it's quite a lot for a PTC fuse. Um, so these come in a family. This is the, the, the whole series is called the MF. LSM MF series, um, the PTC uh, resettable fuses. And you can see here, it's just the top of the chart. The chart's quite long. Um, all of them um, have uh, really good testing, really good quality. Borns has been making fuses and PTC fuses for a while. Uh, they're all, um, you know, they're not tiny, but they're low profile and they're easy to pick in place um, with a big range of VMAX, which is the voltage to expect. Uh, I hold, which is the current that you can pass through safely um, at a given temperature, and I trip, which is usually about twice or ish, you know, one and a half, one, twice as much as I hold. And that's when um, the fuse will trip. And by trip, I mean it will open up um, and disconnect both sides. So normally it's closed, current goes through, current goes above a certain amount that could indicate a short or some sort of failure inside. Um, it opens up and protects the circuitry from damage. Um, this is from a really great video that we'll show a clip of uh, later from uh, DigiKey. They did a, a really great video about NTC and PTC thermistors. Um, and so they actually showed that there's two kinds of thermistors, the solicitor. Now, I actually had never heard of the solicitor, um, not a solicitor, which is a kind of like a British lawyer, I think, but a, a sil solicitor. Um, and solicitors, you see, are, are PTCs, but they have like a, a steady uh, rise up, and, and those are tends to be used for um, you know measuring temperature because there's you see a very linear um, relationship between temperature and resistance, and so if you know the resistance, you can easily calculate the temperature. Whereas the switching type PTC, which is the kind used in fuses, um, you can see it actually I didn't know this the resistance actually drops a little bit uh, with temperature until it hits TC, which is the Curie temp. When it hits TC, the resistance, you can see it spikes up really high, um, and that basically opens up the circuit. So it's this nice graphic, again, from DigiKey Shows. Uh, low resistance when temperature is cold, high resistance when temperature is warm. Um, and what's neat is as it cools down, it can go back to low temperature, low resistance. This is unlike um, most fuses. Um, got this pick from... Uh, Flicker, um, the uh, credit's going to be in the text because it even got cut off. Um, but you see here the um, the fuse uh, when it blows, normally like a wire fuse, it doesn't reheal. Uh, it's blown once, like you have to replace it, and usually there's like a re easily replaceable fuse. You can pop it out; it's not soldered onto the board. Um, but with these, um, uh, you know, they they heal themselves or self healing um, because as the as the current you know, the, the short goes away, the, the circuit is open, the PTC will slowly uh, cool down um, and then uh, it'll reclose again, basically retrying later. I do want to mention, uh, Borns does have some um, one-time fuses that are circuit uh, mountable, like P uh, surface mountable. Um, so just watch out. These are like, I think they're called like one, one shots or something. Um, but uh, these, are, these are the PTC ones I'm talking about. 
And you may be familiar because we have these on a lot of our boards. Um, these are uh, some green generic ones that we have on our Metro. Uh, we use them to protect the USB port. Um, so this is like a five volt, 500 milliamp or one amp fuse. And that's why you, you know, for a lot of modern electronics, if they suddenly stop working, sometimes if you unplug it and wait a few minutes and plug it back in, it will work because you give a chance for that PTC to uh, cool down again, which is great. Uh, so um, one thing to think about is, okay, you know, as, as more current's flowing through, the temperature is up and then it pops open. Um, it does mean that the trip and hold temperature will vary with the ambient ob operating temperature. So something to keep in mind, if you're, you know, if this is inside a machine or robot that's very hot because um, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, heat emanating from a motor or a motor driver, um, just be aware you will have to derate. So you might have to pick, you know, you don't, you don't want the heat to add to the, to the you, know, you add that to the TC temperature curie and now, you know, um, you're tripping a lot earlier than expected. So you might, if you normally would want a two amp fuse, maybe a three amp because you're derating by um, 50%. So just keep that in mind when you're, especially if you're doing robotics or LEDs where the power supply or temperature, um, there's self heating from the circuitry itself. Um, so Digiki has like thousands and thousands in stock, which is great because I always love to do an INMPI where you can get the thing. Um, so go to Digikey. I just picked the first one, which I think is this a 24 volt uh, for amp one, and I can quickly show it on the overhead so people have an idea of the size, and we can show the video. Boom. Okay, so let me, let me get so close. So this is just a uh, strip of three, so you see they come on cut tape. And let me just carefully peel away. And uh, yeah, you can see um, it's kind of got of a ceramic-y outside. It's got this really cool like lines on the inside, big gold pads for lots of current uh, transfer, um, but otherwise a, uh, a great looking and uh, you know, for the amount of current that this passes, amount of voltage, uh, not too big. So, you know, usually PTCs were, were known for like, oh, you know, maybe an amp or so at the most, but now you can do, um, you know, up to six amps easily with these surface mountable fuses. All right, and let's uh, play the video. PTC or positive temperature coefficient thermistors are made of materials that increase resistance in response to a rise in temperature while a decrease in temperature decreases their resistance. These are typically placed in series with a circuit as inline resettable fuses to protect against overcurrent situations. Here, when the overcurrent situation occurs, the temperature rapidly spikes, causing the thermistor's resistance to increase as well, reducing the current that is allowed through. There are two varieties of PTC thermistors. The first is a silicon-based thermistor called a silister, which has temperature characteristics that follow a linear temperature curve with resistance gradually rising as the temperature rises. These are not very common, but do exist. The second is a switching type. These behave like an NTC thermistor until they cross a temperature barrier called the Curie point or Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is a defined temperature trip point at which certain materials lose their permanent magnetic properties, which in short affects the device by creating barriers when it reaches the Curie temperature to allow the resistance to increase rapidly. And that's we that's that's, <laughs> that's, this, that's this week's item of yeah. Alright, thank you, DigiKey, for yeah. sponsoring the segment and of course uh,